I didn't want to come across <laughs> as too much of a fangirl. <laughs> Question number four. Are there any riders that influence or inspire you? And if so, how? I think when I was a kid, I, had, I was inspired, I guess, and my hero would have been Kenny Roberts for me. He was always the guy that I wanted to be like or inspired me, to, you know, I just wanted to be him sort of thing. You know, the, my first set of leathers were Kenny Roberts, replica leathers with a replica t-shirt underneath, you know, I'm racing at Aintree and an old part and places like that. So are there any riders that influence or inspire you? Um, it's a tricky one, these loads. Like, when I was younger, like I didn't kind of have the racing sort of background. I didn't really have a motocross kind of background. I just knew I wanted to jump on a bike and ride right. the roads and stuff. So I didn't really follow the racing. I didn't really follow much. So I suppose like the only people I kind of had was my dad, as sad as that sounds. Um, just looked up to him riding. He was like a, an advanced police motorcyclist. So I used to go out with him and kind of teach me how to be alert and sort of stay alive on the road, which is good. And then from there, there's just people like, you know, the likes of Jenny Timmerth and like, I do a lot of Jamie Whitten track days and I just love all the guys there, like Dan Linford. How important is health and fitness when it comes to riding at a professional level? How do you look after yourself? Well, obviously the answer is very important. Uh, if you're racing at the highest level, probably even more so nowadays with the, the speed of the bikes, and the horsepower they're producing. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to be very fit. Most of the guys I know um, do a lot of cycling, a lot of gym work, a lot of motocross. I would say those are the three biggest things they do, really. But so, um, so yeah, it's very important. I think it's, like I say, more important now than ever before. I think I did a bit. I mean, before me, they did less. I think in the 60s, they didn't do anything except have a few cans of yeah. a lager and a, and a few fags on the rocks and that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, it's like anything. Every sport kind of progresses. And, You've got a bit your, your peak fitness-wise to, to dominate that sport, which the guys who are out there now doing it are very, very fit guys. I'm, I'm kind of a, a kebabs over abs kind of girl, so well, health and be. fitness <laughs> is not my priority. You like a kebab, do you? Yeah, I do. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Not a doner kebab, just like a... I don't mind a curry as well, they're not a kebab. Mm -hmm. Kebabs. Yeah, I like chicken kebabs and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. How would you describe what riding, either racing or casually, feels like and what emotions does it bring out in you? For me, it was just, it was the emotions of winning were just, I don't know, I can't, yeah, I can't even put them into words, to be honest. I just wanted to win, you know, at all costs and be world champion, that kind of thing. And that feeling was just, I don't know, you can never replace yeah. that and never feel that again, really, to be honest. But, um, but uh, for riding uh, bikes are fun on the road and that, that feeling of freedom really and just enjoyment. I mean, that's yeah. why you do it. You know, I love, I love riding bikes. I love riding bikes more now than I've probably ever done in my life really. You know, when I did it as a job, yeah. I almost didn't enjoy it. I wanted to win so much that it took the way of enjoying mm -hmm. riding the bike away, you know. Um, yeah. But when I go away with my mates now and we go to Spain for three or four days off road riding, I mean, it's just, I'm just smiling from. You know, the yeah, moment we get to the it. airport, so when we get back, it's just, it's just great fun being with your mates, getting out riding bikes, feeling out of freedom, and you know, it's, it can't, I can't think of anything better, even at the, the, the age I'm at now, you know, because she's obviously still very young. Get you walking, stick <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, so for me, it's just riding casually. I ain't mean, a racer like you, always show me but no, I ain't got the skill. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head when you said freedom. It's, it's just a way to escape, isn't it? Like, come home from your busy day job and, you hop out on the bike, especially if the weather's nice. You go for a ride, you just clear your head of everything that you've had to deal with that day. Just focus on the next bend in front of you. And for me, there's just no other feeling like it. I love traveling abroad when we could do it easier. I love like just the roads in Scotland, or I like tight, twisty country lanes. And yeah, it's just the sense of like, don't get me wrong, I'm not like, amazing but I'm, I'm competent and I like that feeling of being competent on a bike and like knowing that I can ride nice and it's flowy and when everything just like aligns. I like riding as well with like my partner for example when we ride together like we can go on trips and stuff but you know when you, it's almost like telekinesis and you like you what? ride with someone. What you, kind of word is that? <laughs> no like maybe, that word mean? maybe that's the wrong word like you're almost like synced up and you know what the other person's going to do. 